Hello and welcome to Jerry's Projects. Today I want to th show you my 3D printer enclosure that I built for my CR10 that I got a little over a week ago. Anyway, I wanted to print an ABS and everything that I've read that if you print an ABS and it air cools, it's basically going to shrink on your warp and I don't want that to happen. And I looked at a lot of different videos and pictures online of enclosures that other people have built and here's the idea that I came up with. Anyway, the box is 30 inches deep, 23 inches wide, and 26 inches tall, plus the plywood on top is, you know, an added 3 5 eighths to 3 quarters of an inch on top of that. I went to Lowe's, or Home Depot, I guess, and I bought quarter inch plexiglass. They do sell thinner stuff that's a lot less money, but, you know, I got a lot of money tied up in filament, the printer, my time, building the box, making it look nice. I figured that the quarter inch would insulate better, so basically what the hell, let's just buy the thicker material. It costs quite a bit more, but I think it's worth it. I printed out the knobs on the front, the 3D printed knobs. I originally was going to put magnetic catches on the top, and then I realized that by using the leftover acrylic pieces I can make latches that flip shut on it. As you can see here, they just swing up out of the way. Once I put the insulation on the front and closed it, I noticed I had a small air, air gap right in this direction on both sides. So then I put another latch here on the side. And then I have a screw here for a stop so it stays at that point. So basically I flip up these two latches, flip these out of the way, take two hands, grab this, and I lift it up off of the track that's down here. The only real problem I had when I measured and I built this is that once I set the printer in place and I slid the bed back and forth for travel front and rear is that my adjustment knobs up front were hitting my 2 by 3 material so I had to cut down part of my frame in the front right inside the door this is built by 2 by 3 studs all the way around it's a lot lighter weight than using a 2 by 4 and saves money and this 2 by 3 stud is also the same material which is on the front and across here I cut that down in half so it's only an inch thick and basically I used uh, one by twos basically made a picture frame I pre-drilled them so that I could uh, sink the screws in the frame and set the plexiglass inside it put another picture frame on the outside of that and then I stained it and sealed it once I stained it I waited 24 hours for the stain to dry and then I painted it with clear coat as I sealed it um, I have a HD web camera in there that's filming my object, so every time I print with S3D, I can tape it and then post a pic online. I'm printing in PLA right now. Inside on the top, I have two lights I bought on Amazon. They're small LEDs. They're very inexpensive, and I have a switch, which is hanging down on the side that I need to mount so I can turn them on and off. They pull very little power and they're bright I can leave them on all night no problem until the print's done the top is some three-quarter plywood that I had laying around in the garage I took the stock mount for now for the PLA the spool holder and I mounted that on top and I got a hole drilled in the top obviously for feeding the material down in the box I'm thinking about building a larger spool holder to put all the way across the top where I could put multiple rolls on it <clears throat> on a loose bar where I can just pick up the bar and flip it around if I want to interchange the material or just take them off. In the side of the plexiglass I cut, cut two holes with a hole saw. I posted another video or two other videos talking about cutting plexiglass on a table saw and drilling the holes with a hole saw. If you'd like to check those out you can see how I did that. But since I have so many wires and we need access for travel that's what I came up with. Currently the control box is sitting on a black box that I had laying around. I'm going to build a, little build a little wooden shelf for it, make it look nice. I have the SD card ribbon cable looped out across the top if I should ever choose to use that. And then I have a Raspberry Pi mounted on the side. So I can go to my main con computer in another room to shoot files over here that I want to print. Let's see, the table, I built that a week before I got the printer. It's a 30 by 30, 3 quarter plywood, built out of 2 by 4s, put a wooden shelf underneath, screwed it all together, and my wife didn't want it to be ugly, furniture in the house, so I stained it and clear coated it to make it match. 
the printer box once I built it I set it down over the top of the printer carefully to make sure it fit properly and then I realized that I had a problem with the bed travel so I had to lift it back up off take it outside cut it down do a little modification I have L brackets on the side to hold it down to the table so the box doesn't shift if somebody was to bump into it on the webcam I had printed out a mount to go on the bed so it travels with the bed but it was hitting the glass it was in the way I don't quite have an option right now I have to figure something out so as you can see I cut a wooden block and I mounted it there at an angle so it can feel what I, film what I'm doing so anyway you know, every time I ever want to build anything or do anything, if I can't think it up, I go to YouTube, I Google it, I go to YouTube and watch videos, and I get other ideas from people. It's a wonderful place to post things and to watch videos. And as far as for the Creality CR-10, I love it. It's awesome. It's my first printer. I've always wanted to own one, but I have it in the past for the simple fact that I want to be able to print things big like a mask or something that I could actually use as large, not little tiny items. And so far, so good. I have you know, this thing is awesome. I just love it. I got storage underneath for all my PLA. I have one roll of ABS, which I haven't used yet. And one other thing I plan on doing, I have a temperature sensor I ordered on Amazon. It'll be here tomorrow. I'm going to mount it on the front of the side of the case so I can monitor the inside temperature. <clears throat> There's not really a reason to. I just want to do it because I can. I have one in my refrigerator and one in my oven. I could simply get a little metal temperature doohickey and set in there and I could look at it and it's mechanical and I could see the temperature but since I have all this going on I might, might as well put a nice little box that pulls more power and you know show me the inside temperature if I put a probe in it I will keep the probe down low because I'm concerned obviously about the bed temperature and the cooling of whatever object I'm printing in ABS I don't want a reading up here at the top of the case since heat rises the temperature up here would obviously be greater than near the bottom so the probe will be down near the glass bed so I can check the temperature in that area if I'm ever curious or somebody was to ask me you know what the temperature is in the enclosure I can give an accurate reading anyway I hope you liked the video I you know I'm, I'm just learning I'm new at this uh, the video thing so I'm trying to figure it all out anyway please like and subscribe and everybody have a great day thank you